I entitle this poem, Christmas with the Beloved Disciple. Christmas, Christmas, a season of confusion where Santa and his reindeer don't fall for the illusion that Christmas is about just gifts and presents and joy can be bought with dollars and cents. So let's set the record straight. I'm not talking about vinyl. I'm talking about Christ and how his word is final. I'm in the beginning was the word that is a self-revelation that God in the word spoke and now we have creation. He was in the beginning, he was with God, but don't be mistaken, he is also God. It's the old doctrine, one God, three persons. The second of the Trinity is now here in person. He was not created nor adopted, not made or fabricated. He is co-eternal, consubstantial. It's Jesus, I'm captivated. Don't be like Apollinaris who couldn't understand that God being God has somehow become man. Don't you see this is the great miracle? Don't think the story is satirical because the true and greatest satire is at its, at its empty glory that we desire. That's why we live in a world so dark. It's where we see sin's clearest mark. Loneliness, poverty, death, and slavery are all ways we see this great, great tragedy. So for generations, we have tried to fix this problem. Now we know we need a savior like Gotham. But we don't look to a man in a Kevlar suit. We look to a God and his faithful pursuit. Because our problem is not one psycho villain. Our problem is with the many, many billions. Because our problem is not that we don't have enough heart. Our problem is that we have a broken heart. We try to help, but it seems superfluous. We try to give, but we are not generous. We try to love, but it is contrived. The reality is we need our hearts revived because darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. We cannot save ourselves. Only God can do that. So Jesus came into the world. That's the truth. Hold that. You see, Jesus is light. He shines bright like the sun. Jesus is love. He is the beautiful one. Jesus is God. He is the true king. That's why we say Jesus changes everything. So here is the true, here is the true Christmas story. Jesus left heaven, brought down glory. He was born in a manger in a town called Bethlehem. From that day forth, the world wouldn't be the same. Joy to the world, a light has dawned. He is our hope with today and beyond. The Lord has come, prepare him room. Make way for, for him so your hearts may bloom. Make room for hope, peace, joy, and love. For the king has come from heaven above. No longer do we pursue these empty pleasures, for the word, for the word has, has become flesh and dwelt among us. So remember, it's not up to me. No, it's not about me. It's about Jesus and his infinite glory. So I hope you have a holly, jolly Christmas, because Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Jesus is with us. Let's pray.